What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So I know a lot of you guys asked me in the last video, where did I find the Fiddler Crabs, what bait I'm using, what rig, etc. So I figured I'd do another video today showing you some of the methods I use in order to locate the best baits for sheep's head particularly. Now you'll see here that I was scraping the piling and I was using this little scraper so you can get these right at Home Depot or any hardware store really. And what you do is you get down there and you scrape the barnacles. Now, I'm very particular about the barnacle. You want it to be these barnacles here. And it's very important because these are the barnacles that they really, really um, favor. And you can use just these barnacles, but the idea is to chum them up first by knocking a few off into the water and then putting this down there with them. So then when they start their little feeding frenzy, they're gobbling these up and you know, it doesn't really look out of place, so to speak. Now to hook them, a lot of people ask me all the time, you use your Gamagatsu one-out hook. Uh, that's what's been working for me lately. But what I do is I just go and I run this hook right through the hole here, and you see these will break off, and you can hook them on just like that, individually, but you just literally run the hook right into this hole and then work work it until it actually penetrates the shell of actually look this just broke open and that's what they're wanting to get into they're wanting to eat is that barnacle right there just so y'all know anyhow put it right through that hole and just work it right through it until it penetrates it and what's really nice is i free line you don't need a lot of weight with this because the weight is already here this is almost equivalent to uh, like a quarter ounce sinker so to speak so it just falls right next to the piling and once you get that subtle hit you set the hook and it's on like donkey kong so that's one method now what was really effective in today's video particularly is those black mangrove crabs now i've told you about those mangrove crabs for many years but the way you want to catch those is you want to frequent either a mangrove a dock a bridge um, especially around larger bridges you'll find them there and you literally just go and you catch them off the piling it takes some work you got to put the effort into uh, if you want to catch them but they are by far hands down the best sheep's head bait especially in Florida and Tampa Bay that's my opinion but the next best thing is the fiddlers then the barnacles and then you got sand fleas those are the four best baits and then of course you can use shrimp I'm not I'm not I don't favor shrimp uh, I just find that the crabs are superior in bait. Alright guys, sometimes you gotta do the extreme just to get some bait. Ooh, can I walk that? I dare you to walk that. Nice. I dare you to walk that. <gasps> I almost lost that. I ain't walking there. Alright, I'll pull, pull me up and I'll go back down on that side. I almost lost it right there. That would have been cool. <laughs> Dude, just keep playing. Chris, what? Oh, it's going shit. down, you idiot. I gotta, I gotta wait a second before it changes. get a few chummed up that should help get them started here I mean we got I'm pretty sure more than enough gotcha. see that guys you don't have to go very far for feet I've gotten three little crabs Literally right here. Oh, don't even have to stand sometimes. This is the candy right here, boys and girls. These are the little mangrove tree crabs. Now I just caught these right up underneath the dock. Sheep said absolutely love them. This is this is hands down their favorite food to eat on. So if you can catch them, 
nobody really sells them. You got to go out and catch them. Mangroves, docks, bridges, that's where you'll find them. These are them. Got my little 1 0 Gamagatsu hook, guys. Super sharp. This is how I like to hook them. Go right up under the underbelly, right through the shell, and then out the top, just like that. It's like on the underside. And these are swimmers, guys. These crabs like to swim. So now I'm going to put them down by the pile and see what happens. Swimming. He's swimming. Oh my god! <laughs> fish of defeat. We needed that fish. And I I'm... can't keep a fish butt button, bro. <laughs> he wasn't as big as the last one. But... Well, I saw him. He looked all right. I mean, he would have worked for the freaking video. Oh. Did I oh. give up. <laughs> Dude, what is going on right now? Dude, I got a whole barb on this thing. I don't get it. I need I need some crabs. That is so frustrating. Sheep's head would do this to you. Make you crazy. Let's see if we can keep this whole button. Oh, there's another one swimming with it. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Definitely a keeper. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you gotta be careful. These things got some major spines. It's all wrapped up weird. Look at that. So I wanted to show you guys this one out hook. You see how crazy their teeth is. So a circle hook is not always ideal. Actually, I got him on the outside of that lip. And that works really well, but look. The reason a circle hook a lot of times won't work is because it's going into those teeth. And I like a J hook so I can really set it and get it up in there. And I mean, but that was perfect in the lip right there. So I just wanted to show you guys that. That's a good 12, 13 inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Might be a 14 inch uh, sheep's head. Beautiful, but check out them teeth. A light outfit is important. So just like in my last video, I'm using the very same ITX by Akuma. This is a little 3000 reel spooled with uh, the 10 pound Spro or 15 pound Spro braid. It's very light. Um, and then this is the SRT Inshore Premier by Akuma. I really, really like this, this outfit guys because it's a very sensitive tip. So I could feel just because sheep's head sometimes, and that's one, one thing I should mention, you don't, sometimes you don't feel hardly anything it's a very subtle pickup and when you pick up you want to barely pull tight and then set the hook you don't want to just jerk right when you feel the first little thing because oftentimes you'll miss that bite so I'll pull taut and once you feel and then you feel that that they're hanging on then you set that hook because sometimes what they'll do if you ever watch them feed they'll grab the barnacle they'll grab the crab they'll inhale it they'll crush it and then they spit out so Make sure you feel a constant tension before you go set in the hook or else you're just going to keep jerking off baits. And let me tell you, filler crabs are pretty expensive. Another place you can find filler crabs is right here at Ruskin Bait and Tackle, guys, right before the, uh, uh, the Little Manatee River Bridge. I find that she usually has them. Call in advance and she'll be able to tell you if she does have them in stock. It's as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. I wanted to follow up and answer some of these questions for you. If you did, please give a thumbs up, comment below. And if you didn't watch my last video on how to catch sheep's head from the shore, uh, check out this video. It's right there. Click it. You know you want to. Hey, give a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, see you on the water.